Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to talk about batch processing. How to execute n number of SQL queries at one go. Let's consider this scenario first. You can see that this is one of the example program uh, which I have prepared for you people. And you can see that there is a statement and I'm using execute query, which means it is going to communicate with the database and then it is going to execute this query for me and then the results will be printed. All right. Then again, I'm using prepared statement and I'm using execute update method, which means I'm going to do some updations uh, on my table. That means I'm inserting a record using insert SQL statement. All right. Then again, I'm trying to print all the records using uh, S select statement. So now you see this, I'm using three execute methods. I mean, three times I have used execute methods, which means now my application should communicate with the database three times right first to execute this and then print the results and then second again uh, it is going to execute this execute update method and then again execute query methods so it is going to communicate three times what if we want to reduce this overhead that's where batch execution comes into the picture means all we can club all the multiple queries and then we can execute it in one go which means there is going to be only one sort of communi communication, which means your application is going to communicate only once. So in this way, we can reduce the communication overhead. Think that if there are multiple users and there is a database, and then if the users are keep on sending the requests and there will be a sort of this issue, that means we call it as communication overhead. So using batch execution, we are going to reduce this. And obviously this is going to result in fast performance fine so this is the entire picture of batch processing now what methods we are going to use for this set auto commit we know that uh, we have already discussed this auto commit method in previous transaction management also if you see this nowhere i have used set auto commit here which means we know that by default all these statements which we are going to execute will be committed automatically which means once your statement is getting com uh, committed in the sense it is getting it is communicating with your database and then it is storing that particular file similarly again here it is automatically committed and again it is going to communicate with the database so in this example uh, three times it is going to communicate with the database right using default auto commit method that is why we are going to set auto commit as false until and unless you say commit uh, the records will not get saved if you say commit then your records will get saved fine so we have add batch method and then execute batch method over here clear batch is just to clear whatever the uh, you know sql statements you have added into this add batch method so let's dive into the video and then let's understand how batch execution works so let me just open the netbeans interface for you yeah you can see that um, <clears throat> This is execute batch over here. All right. Now, again, uh, in, in this unit, I said that we are going to use only one package. That means the most important one is import java.sql in dot star. In SQL package, we have all the classes and interfaces, right? There is a class and class name. And I am going to use three variables, you, database URL, user, and password. And uh, in database URL, I'm passing, my database name is statements. And then I'm going to use uh, the table called as student in that. Then this is the username and password. And uh, here, within the main method, I'm saying try catch block. Within that, the first step, the well-known step for us, that is registering the database. I mean, registering the driver, right? So com.mysqljdbc driver. The second step is connection method. This is a connection interface, and I'm going to use a driver manager dot get connection method, and then I'm going to pass the three variables of this. All right. Now the third step we know that creating the statement. I'm using statement interface, and then create statement method. Now you see, I'm using set auto commit false. Why I'm saying false? Because I don't want my statements to automatically commit, right? Because I want to reduce the communication overhead so what i'm trying to do is in this statement you can see that i have uh, three statements the first statement is to insert 
uh, record into the student table and then i'm going to pass some static value and again i'm going to say insert so two times in, in i'm going to insert a record and you see this i'm using this add batch method statement dot add batch and i'm passing this sql variable which means this statement into this so similarly i'm adding this insert sec the second insert statement into the add batch method and then again the delete statement into this add batch method all right so now if we don't use execute batch method then what happens three times it is going to communicate means three times it is going to commit which means three times it is going to create three transactions and uh, uh, three uh, you know requests are going to be placed in your table but now you see this what i'm trying to do is that i'm using execute batch for the statement and all the three statements which i have given here is going to execute at once and then i want to just count uh, how many statements which i'm going to execute so i'm using this uh, array uh, count array uh, in integer format and uh, i'm just going to print that one count dot length so finally i'm going to say commit so whenever i say commit all the records will get saved and then the last method we know that closing the connection and catching the exception fine now let's just check the database once now as i said that i'm going to use statements database and then this is the student table so right now we have two records all right now we have two insert statements okay it is going to insert record number 44 and 54 so it is going to delete the record number one the record number one is what over here in our table that is one rk and rajkot it is going to get deleted so let's run the uh, program let's see so it is going to say that number of records affected three all right now let's switch back to the database table and let's refresh here you can see that record number 44 and 54 got inserted and record number one got deleted automatically it means all these things happened at once in one single communication one single transaction fine so this is the advantage of using a batch uh, you know execute batch method and add batch method but there is one such problem that in batch executions will be faster but you cannot stop the transactions in between like in transactions we did you cannot roll back a particular transaction so that is the issue with this if you have 100 sql statements and you are going to execute all the 100 statements at once you cannot stop the 10th or 20th statement out of 100 because you said it is i mean you have added all the statements into a batch method and then it will be executed for sure so that is the only drawback of uh, executing batch other than that if you want to minimize time you can use batch execution or if you want to roll back uh, at a particular moment then you should go for a single transaction it means you have to use transaction management fine i hope that this is clear for you if it is clear hit the like button and if you have any queries do comment in the comment section i'm happy to address your queries uh, thank you and thanks for watching the video